going on everyone? I got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today we're discussing a Netflix original film directed by Steven Soderbergh, the man who made Unsane last year which was criminally underrated and filmed with an iPhone and now he's back with another iPhone film and that is with High Flying Bird. If you guys are new here, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and also making sure to comment down below what your guys thoughts are on this film. Do you guys see it yet? Are you guys looking forward to it? Let's talk about it down below. Plus you guys can also check out Sam and Sean Films also right down there where you guys can get into advanced movie screens, check out some movie news and even some movie reviews. High Flying Bird is about a sports agent who pitches a rookie basketball client on an intriguing controversial business opportunity during a lockout. Now this is very much different. It's a very dramatic look behind the scenes of what sport agents go through during like say a lockout during a basketball season and it this film was very intriguing i will even go as far as to say the fact that this film was filmed on an iphone see insane i i knew it was filmed with an iphone even if i hadn't seen the film and like knew the background history behind it watching the film you can tell it's different this film, if I didn't know going into that was an iPhone, I wouldn't have known that about this one. Um, this one is filmed greatly, and you can really tell that he worked out a lot of the kinks behind the scenes technically with using the same iPhone. He got different lenses for the iPhone. He intrigued it and enhanced it and actually filmed it more like a movie this time. And I acclaim him. I liked Unsane. I love what Steven Soderbergh did with that. I think he's one of the most underrated directors working today. This guy is a master genius when, when it comes behind the scenes and writing and even directing. Now, he didn't write this film that we know of, but he did direct it and it's greatly directed. This is a very witty film that has snappy dialogue to it, and I have to give a big pro to the script of this film because I think that's why a lot of the reason that this film works. Yeah, technically it looks good as an iPhone film, and cinematography, there are some great sequences of him. There's an opening shot of him just walking, and pretty much like the opening credits in a sense of the film, and it's great. Like, I, my jaw was dropped from just watching the sequence, and I, I love a lot of the editing choices that Steven Soderbergh chose to put into this film as a director. All the technical stuff can be great, but High Flying Bird really succeeds from its performances. One of the big notable standouts of the whole film is Zazie Beetz. So she is a very big supporting player in this whole film, and she always brings a very different charismatic level to any performance I've ever seen the girl give. She is excellent in here, and she's excellent in every single thing I've ever seen her in again, but she's great. And really, that goes to every single star within High Flying Bird. They're each great within the place that they're given. They really transport into the characters that they are portraying, and again, all helps because of that snappy, witty dialogue that the script gives. But what I will say about this is, I'm not the biggest basketball fan. I used to be when I was younger, but I kind of fell out of it lately, and some parts of this film were a little boring to me. Uh, I'll be flat out honest with that. Um, there are sequences where I don't think the film is paced as well. Yeah, it's short. It's like an hour and a half, but at times it actually felt longer than that. Technically, it looks great. The performances are great, and overall, it's a good film, but the pacing is really where, for me personally, I felt the film let down. Now, maybe, again, maybe it's just because I'm not huge in the basketball, but I was still intrigued with the behind the scenes, but the same thing goes for Moneyball. I'm not a huge baseball fan, but I love Moneyball and everything that's done within that film, and it makes me intrigued to get into baseball more. This didn't make me intrigued to get into any more basketball. And that, that's just the honest truth of the matter. I know exactly where this film was going to go, and I actually really do love the ending. The ending is probably one of my favorite parts of the, about the whole film. Again, great technical stuff. Excellent. And I want to see Steven Soderbergh and other directors actually take on using an iPhone camera. It's so unique. It's so different. And again, that's why I appreciate Steven Soderbergh, because he always takes something different to the game of cinema. So with all that said, I'm going to give High Flying Bird a B. Guys, thoughts are on High Flying Bird. Did you guys watch it yet? Did you like it? Let's talk about it down below. What is your favorite Steven Soderbergh film? Mine personally is probably Logan Lucky or Lucky Logan. I don't remember exactly what it is. It's a weird title, but I love that film and I thought it was very underrated. Again, guys, can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts. Thank you guys again so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay classy.